Hello everyone. In this video, we will recommend the top 10 unfaithful wife movies from 2006 to 2022. So, let's get started the list. Number 1. The Painted Veil. Director, John Curran. This love story has Kitty, meeting young, intelligent, shy and somewhat dull Dr. Walter Fain, whose forte is the study of infectious diseases, and the convenient marriage to which she finds herself committed. It is in this web of intrigue that they head for China. Only after Walter discovers Kitty's infidelity with the dashing and witty diplomat Charlie Townsend, so much as to hide her from herself and to help thwart a cholera outbreak. This is a marriage more than on the rocks. This is a cold, indifferent, and loveless partnership in a vast unknown and deadly environment that will test both of these. Number 2. Brownian Movement. Director, Nanook Leopold. Charlotte is a German doctor in Brussels. She is married to architect Max and mother of a young son. She rents an apartment to meet with little attractive men from her patients. At the same time she leads in romance marriage and family life. The life with her husband radiates security and trust. When she meets one of the chosen patients, he wants to get closer to her. She suffers a nervous breakdown. She strikes the man and finally collapses. Her affairs are now known. She loses her job as a doctor and her marriage is about to end. Number 3. In Secret. Director, Charlie Stratton. Young repressed Therese is trapped in a loveless arranged marriage to her ailing cousin Camille. She spends her days working behind the counter of the family store with her domineering mother-in-law, Madame Rockin. Her only distraction is an occasional night of playing dominoes. When Camille returns home with Laurent, a charming and handsome childhood friend, Therese is drawn to his overwhelming presence. A secret and risky affair soon turns into an insatiable obsession. Number 4. Gemma Bovary. Director, Anne Fontaine. Martin, a village baker in Normandy, meets the beautiful Gemma Bovary. One day, she and her husband Charles have moved to Normandy from London. But soon Normandy loses its attraction to Gemma and she becomes very bored. Gradually, little is left of the love for her husband and it appears that Martin will play a far from innocent role in her life. Number 5. Rendezvous. Director, Antoinette Boomer. In Rendezvous, Simone changes course. She inherits a dilapidated country house in France and leaves to turn it into a chambre d'hôtes with her husband Eric and their two children. As the hustle and bustle of the renovation increases, Simone flees into an exciting affair with one of the French construction workers, the attractive Michel. Eric is now completely absorbed in the construction plans of contractor Peter. But not everything in beautiful French is what it seems. The French dream turns into a complete nightmare. Number 6. Lady Macbeth. Director, William Oldroyd. In the austere 1865 rural England, the innocent 17-year-old teenage bride, Catherine, is sold by her father and forced into marriage with the twice-her-age colliery heir, Alexander Lester. Under those circumstances, the young wife who is imprisoned in a joyless and loveless marriage will soon find a ray of light in the darkness of her boredom in the person of Sebastian, the estate's unrefined stable groom, with whom she will start an ill-advised and progressively reckless romance, but the walls have ears, and who knows what one is capable of doing in the name of freedom. Number 7. Tulip Fever. Director, Justin Chadwick. In Amsterdam in the early 17th century, the buying and selling of tulips is flourishing and the wealthy merchant Cornelis Santford is also active in this market. But unlike many of his colleagues, his true passion is not for the noble flower, but for his wife Sophia, after he hires the young and extremely talented painter Jan van Luz to have a portrait of Sophia painted. A dangerous affair begins between the artist and the merchant's wife, the two lovers place their hope in the most expensive tulip bulb, the Admiral Maria, with which they want to get enough money for a passage to the New World. Number 8. The Aftermath. Director, James Kent. Hamburg 1946. In the aftermath of World War II, Rachel Morgan returns home to reunite with her husband. This man, British Colonel Lewis Morgan, 
is responsible for rebuilding the city and hunting down Nazis among the exhausted population. Louis, who is stationed in a large house on the outskirts of the city, does not have the heart to evict the current residents of this house and decides to share it with them. Against this tense backdrop, hostility and sadness gradually give way to betrayal. Number 9. The Wait. Director, Aku Luhimis, tells the story of a preacher, his wife and an old friend of the preacher who visits the couple in rural Finland during the summer. While the preacher is happy to see his friend because of the joviality he brings to their household, his wife has more of a romantic interest in mind, based on the novel by revered Finnish author Juhani, and the first ever carbon negative feature film production. Number 10. Faithfully Yours. Director, Andre Van Duren. Bottle and Isabel occasionally take an escape from their busy daily lives by going away for a weekend together to the Belgian coast. During these weekends they are each other's alibi for cheating. Purely for the excitement and release, they work out all the details carefully so that their spouses never find out. When Isabel suddenly goes missing, everything seems to point to a crime. While the police start an investigation and the husbands come to Belgium, Bottle becomes increasingly entangled in the web of lies that she and Isabel have carefully constructed. <laughs>